<laughs> so we'll start by settling the body. Adopting a stable, comfortable, upright position, serviceable for meditation. So we think about keeping our feet flat and our back straight, torso open, hands in the lap right over left with the palms upturned and the thumbs gently touching. Our eyes are gently closed or slightly open, making sure we let in enough light to remain alert. We try to maintain an awareness of not slouching, not leaning. But we also let go of any unnecessary tension or rigidity in the body. Relaxing into a stable, comfortable, upright position. Just allowing the body to fall into place. Then begin to let go of attending to your external environment, allowing sights and sounds to be as they are without investigation. Constraining your awareness just to the body and mind. beginning to concentrate that awareness in the present by attending closely to the physical sensation of the air as it moves into and back out of the tip of the nostrils. Noticing quickly when anything other than that one physical sensation is arising in the mind and without judgment or frustration, lifting your awareness up from those distractions and placing it gently but firmly again and again on the breath.
And then when the mind feels more calm and generate abroad, altruistic motivation for our time, taking a moment to intentionally widen our circle of concern, trying to embrace countless sentient beings within the field of our practice. Thinking that just like oneself, all sentient beings deeply wish to be happy, deeply wish to be free of suffering. And yet just like oneself, sentient beings meet with difficulties and obstacles, painful inner and outer conditions. And seeing oneself as the recipient of the incredible kindness of all other sentient beings. Benefiting from the work of sentient beings. And wishing to repay that kindness <clears throat> recognizing that one's ability right now to work for the welfare of others is inconsistent weak due to oneself being subject to afflicted states of mind. So genuinely transforming the mind is the only way in which we can genuinely consistently work for the benefit of others. Becoming deeply familiar with states of mind that spontaneously support beneficial actions and then reducing and ultimately eliminating the influence of states of mind that often give rise to actions that are harmful for others. So we take this as our purpose. With that motivation, begin to imagine you yourself are seated in a vast open space. You're surrounded in all directions, countless sentient beings in human form. Your father in this life is on your right, your mother on your left, your friends and loved ones behind you, in front of you are those people that you have difficulty with. And in all directions to the horizon are countless, uncountable sentient beings.
and begin to deeply contemplate the difficulties facing these sentient beings. beginning with overt, painful inner and outer conditions in the different realms. The kinds of physical and mental distress experienced by humans, animals, those in the hungry ghost and hell realms, Thinking, too, of the sufferings of the afflicted states themselves, the pain of anger and jealousy, ill will, maliciousness, pride attachment, and how under the influence of these states we again and again engage in actions that perpetuate suffering. Thinking of this web of painful, unsatisfactory conditions that we and all other ordinary sentient beings are currently experiencing.
And then think how wonderful it would be if I myself were free of suffering. Think, may I cause myself to be free of all of my suffering. Try to contemplate this strongly. And begin to visualize that this compassionate wish takes on the form of a golden white light, beginning at the heart center, and this golden radiant golden light begins to fill your heart center, enveloping your entire body and mind. This energy of compassion really purifies the body and mind of all obscurations, all delusions. All of the causes of suffering.
And now turn your attention to those around you. Thinking how wonderful it would be if they were free of suffering. And think, may I cause them to be free of suffering? And contemplate that strongly in the mind. And visualizing once again that that compassionate intention manifests as the form of this golden white light at the heart. And sending out these rays of light to your mother and father your friends, your loved ones. Those that you have had conflict or difficulty with. And the light spreading in all directions. Touching the crown of every sentient being. Filling them with that golden light, purifying all obstacles, all ob obscurations, all negativities. completely eliminating the cause of their suffering.
and then reabsorb those golden rays of light back into your heart. And think that it remains there as a small golden spark, seed of compassion, always active, always motivating, beneficial activity. And then give rise to a strong determination. May I cause all sentient beings to be free through all of my actions of body, speech, and mind from today forward. And absorb your mind in that determination without distraction. And then when you're ready, we'll come back together. And we'll dedicate. So recollect your altruistic motivation and think that by having engaged in this contemplation, you've actualized that motivation, which has generated positive energy in the mind. And think that you freely offer the fruit of your practice, that positive energy for the benefit of all sentient beings without exception. Thinking strongly when that positive energy ripens, may it serve as a cause and condition to eliminate war and conflict, poverty, famine, disease, disasters, all painful inner and outer conditions. May it fully ripen the minds of all sentient beings. May they quickly meet perfect teachers and rise in the state of full enlightenment. May I, too, achieve the state of enlightenment in order to work for the benefit of sentient beings perfectly. May any obstacles facing the Guru's own life be completely dispelled. And may I and all sentient beings in this moment come under the joyful care and guidance of enlightened beings. May we be guided and protected until we swiftly achieve that state of enlightenment. Thank you.